Oh shit. Hey, young Metro, I don't trust you. I don't know if you. Woo! Mill in a week. Hey! I bought an ice off a leech. Ice. Yeah, playing for keeps. Keep. Suck up the game, she a leech. Leech. Came in the game with a key. What's going on everybody, it's your boy FBI from Africa. Today we have Aesthetically Athletic episode 11. I hope I got that right. But today I think um, I wanna focus on uh, sprint mechanics and uh, things to help you with your sprint, a couple exercises to help you with sprint, along with uh, plyometric work to um, help with your sprint speed. And possibly even something dealing with your 40 yard dash. Just a little tips and tricks. So, let's get to it. First exercise, we're going to work on high knees. When the purpose of high knees is the fact that if you, if you notice that the higher you bring your knee up in a movement, either the longer you can extend that out or jump up. When I'm doing, I take Taekwondo, so for those who don't know, I did take Taekwondo. One thing the teacher taught you is the higher you bring this knee up for that, for that high kick, I say high kick. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of stiff right now. My hamstring a little stiff. So I couldn't get that kick up like I used to. But um, the higher I bring that leg up, the more, the higher this kick's going to be. And that's the same thing with jumping. The higher you can bring this leg up when you're dunking, going up, you need a forceful bring. Running. Bring it high, out. Right? If you bring it right here, you can't extend that leg fully like you're supposed to. So bring that leg up, boom, out. So we're gonna work on some high knees, do about 10 yards, down and back, uh, about four, uh, three times. Next up, we're gonna bound. What bounding does is it opens up your stride. The longer your stride, um, the more ground you can cover in a short amount of time. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to cover a lot of ground in a short amount of time. So you're gonna start out in a light jog, boom, 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 and open it up, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna do that down and back. We'll probably go about 40 yards. Next up, we're gonna do hanging knee raises. What that's gonna do is work that pelvic area, the lower abs, the attachment of the leg. We need to strengthen up the hips when, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> we need to strengthen up the hips for our legs because when our legs are dead, our stride length starts to go low, and things like you tear a muscle, um, you 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 make you just make one wrong movement, and something happens. We don't might, might, it might not have been a tear a muscle, but something pops. You feel weird, you know. So strengthening the um, hips and loosening up the hips as well are something you really need to focus on. So we're gonna do it right here. Gonna hang. Just one leg up. Boom. Make sure this foot is up like this. Not like this, like this. Keep it dorsiflexed. When you do it, that down leg, get a contraction in the, uh, in the glutes. Push that leg back because when you're running, that's what's going back. Push that leg back. Get a, get a feeling of squeezing the glutes without having something to uh, a force against it. Do it yourself. Squeeze those glutes. Boom. Knee up. Boom. And you'll have better muscle mind connection. And putting that load on your glutes is going to help you keep it uh, keep the area safe. We want all the focus on the glutes when we do these things. If you want uh, to make it a little harder. Add cable attachments or bands on the floor to dumbbells or whatever, and uh, have some resistance. For right now, we're just going to do five sets of 12. So that's six each leg. It's good that you're hanging also because you're having to force your back into it, and keeping a strong back will keep that spine straight. And when we're running, that's all we care about moving forward. If you're a sprinter, all you're worried about is moving forward. The more aligned you are, the more better your body will be able to propel itself in the direction that you're trying to go, which is forward. Faster 40, forward. Vertical jump, up. One motion. Again, if all of your folk, if all of your force is aligned, then you're only going to be better going in that direction or position. You have to set yourself up, uh, create your body 
in a way that makes it more appropriate towards what you're doing, you know? And um, so strengthening up you know, uh, around the, the spine is crucial because it keeps everything aligned and boosting up the hips as well. You all have those pelvic hip unalignment type stuff. I think I got a video on it. Um, I'll try to link it if I have it, but yeah. So um, something like this is really gonna help strengthen that area and, and even help with alignment and stuff. And uh, yeah, no, I'm tired. I hope y'all enjoy. All right, next up, we got backward throws. I got the medicine ball right here. What we're gonna do, we're gonna load. You ready? Boom. We're gonna launch it all the way back. This is a power move, people, a power move. When you get off of the 40, when you're doing a vertical jump, you're trying to channel all your explosive energy for that first step, which is gonna propel you in the direction you're trying to go. So we're gonna do this four times. We're just gonna launch that joint back as far as possible. Conditioning work to do, so if you're up to the task, check it out. It's about what 50 yards, I think. From there, I'm counting 10, 10, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40. That wall would be 50. So, I'm gonna go do down and back, uh, short rest time, 20 seconds, and uh, we're gonna do that about six times. So, let's go. 